first in my cooking series called The Food Ambassador. I've created this series because, uh, as a part of my Girl Scout Gold Award project, which is the highest honor that a Girl Scout can receive. Um, in addition to these videos, I've also created a cookbook and have taught cooking classes to other Girl Scouts in my community to try and teach people about healthy eating and that eating healthy always it doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice flavor. So today we're going to be making one of my favorite recipes. It's a chocolate ice cream, but really the base is made out of bananas. It's really simple to make. Um, all you need is one medium frozen banana, uh, cut into chunks, sliced, and obviously peeled. Um, and then you need some cocoa powder, and then I use Nutella, but this recipe is really versatile. Um, instead of Nutella, you can use peanut butter, but I've also made it where you can uh, use vanilla and uh, mix in chopped almonds and coconut and it makes a really great kind of almond joy ice cream. So the first step to this is we're going to put uh, the frozen bananas into the food processor and then we blend them until it forms a fine chunks. Now the food processor can be a little loud especially since the bananas are frozen so just a warning. A lot of people when I make this um, are startled by how loud it is. So now uh, the bananas have broken up into small chunks and I'm just going to scrape down the sides to make sure all the banana uh, chunks get in. So now that all the banana has been incorporated, um, I'll start by just adding about a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Um, it really depends on how much you want to add. Obviously if you like more chocolate you can add more. Um, I think a teaspoon is a pretty good amount, though. So, just, it doesn't have to be precise either. So I just tap that in. And then I happen to have um, these nifty little packets of Nutella, but obviously you can buy a big jar and measure it out however much you want yourself. I usually do about a tablespoon. Um, obviously, the more you add, the more chocolatey and sweet it'll be. So it's really up to you. So I'll just use this little spatula and get it all in there. Let's see. Sometimes an Nutella can be a little sticky, so you have to scrape it out. So once you have added all those ingredients, uh, you can pro start processing the bananas again and you keep pulsing it until it has formed a smooth mixture. Um, this can sometimes take a few minutes, so be patient. And also a lot of the time, if your bananas are really frozen, it will form a sort of mass inside the food processor. So when that happens, uh, just stop pulsing, unscrew the lid, and using a spatula like this, just kind of smooth it out. So then, um, and then just keep mixing and repeating that so all the ingredients get incorporated. So I'll start processing again. So like I said before, um, the mass is obviously has started to form in my food processor. So I just I take out the lid and I'll just kind of mush it up and spread it out so that it um, becomes easier to blend. And you can also, you don't have to do this in a food processor either. If you have a strong blender, it'll also work. Um, my blender just doesn't happen to be um, quite strong enough to process um, fruits that are completely frozen like these bananas are. So I'll just spread this out a bit more so the blade can run through it. And stick the lid back on and keep um, continue the pulsing process. I failed to mention this before, but one medium sized banana will usually be enough for about one person. So um, if you have multiple bananas, uh, you can just store this in a large container and you can have it on hand for whenever. And this recipe is also great uh, if you are tired of the usual banana bread recipe and when you have overripe bananas. If you want to try something different, um, this is definitely worth trying. I think it's delicious and it's a great alternative to the same old banana muffin, banana bread recipes that many people use when their bananas have 
become overripe and not appetizing to eat alone. Okay, so this looks just about ready. So I'll just do one last scrape down the sides just to make sure everything's incorporated. And once it's done, it should look really smooth. Um, so I'll just take this bowl uh, and just kind of start pouring this in and mix, making sure everything's mixed that was stuck on the bottom as well. So take this out. And right at this stage, uh, this ice cream can be it can be eaten now. It'll um, have a texture very similar to uh, soft serve ice cream, and which is good. I like to usually put my, place my back into the freezer after I've done this because I'm more of a hard ice cream person. But if you're one of those people who can't wait that long, it's definitely okay to eat now as well. So I'll just spoon this right into the bowl. And if you can see, it, it definitely looks like, it just looks like chocolate, regular chocolate ice cream. And the texture of this is uncanny. It's very similar to ice cream. You can't really tell the difference. And it will have a banana taste. So if you're a person who really has a, a dislike towards bananas, you may not like this recipe. But I usually don't like bananas. I hate eating them in their regular form. But I've really found that I like this recipe. So just be open. It might be something that you find out you like. So let's see, I'll scrape all this out, make sure I have everything in here. And then I'll just kind of smooth it out in this bowl just to make sure it's kind of even. So yeah, like I said before, you can just eat this as is right now and it'll just taste just like soft serve. But since I like to have mine more of a hard ice cream, I'll just stick it in the freezer. And I'll place a little bit of plastic wrap over it just in case it falls over. I don't want it spilling onto anything. But yeah. Um, so this is what the final product will look like. Um, it's very smooth and creamy and it, I think it's a great substitute for ice cream. And it's especially refreshing in the summer when it's hot. And it's a nice alternative to have on hand instead of ice cream as a healthy uh, option. So this is chocolate banana ice cream. Um, like I said earlier, there are many different flavor variations you can try, so um, be creative, and if you find um, a flavor that you like, um, leave a comment or send me an email, and, because I'd love to try new recipes as well. So, thank you for watching!